So we're about to do something. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid what we're doing, but we're gonna do it and it's gonna be awesome. We have a new Valentine's Day promotion. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do the Valentine's Day thing every year. And it's typically Elvish Dice Vaults. We get professionally translated English to, uh, God, I got this. It's Neo Kenya Elvish. Oh, oh yeah. my god. Oh yeah. Oh! Whoa! No, that's not a fucking prop. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Definitely bringing May this I with me. Sick. Sure. It is fucking sharp. Ooh. Yeah, no, I can tell. <laughs> very, like. Yeah, dude. Like. Oh. Very easily. One wrong. Yep. And my whole leg is gone. <laughs> Enough talking. Let's load this shit up in the car. Yeah, just to brief you guys, we're doing the elf theme as you know. Mm -hmm. One of the shots that we're trying to get is you guys in your elf garb kind of speaking inscriptions to a vault. And we're gonna be we're gonna be having that magically appear on one of these. So that's gonna be a cool idea and hopefully that comes out nicely. So I'm highly skeptical of this idea. I think all of these shots sound really corny and really silly. Yeah, I'm highly skeptical of being able to like somehow magically make with we can do it. It's just fucking corny and it's not what we do typically. <laughs> no, listen. I get I get where you're coming from with it. First of all, you're right. It could it could end up being corny. We've done this before. We've done the product before. I feel like it's an opportunity to do something different. First of all. Oh, I agree with that. And I'm very pro something different. Okay. I just feel like with this magic thing, if we want to make it look like, oh, it's so mystical and whatever, it either needs to be so fucking good and look so real, or it needs to be so over the top and ridiculous that it's comedy. And I feel like what's going to end up happening is we're going to be somewhere in the middle, but that we'll find out, right? Like, we'll find out. And if it doesn't end up working out, it's still going to be great because we'll, we'll capture the epic failure <laughs> or this entire thing is going to be great, in which case I will just look like a fuck. Yeah. So either way, I'm like very that. happy with whatever this yields. Okay. I'm 100% okay with trying to make you look like a fuck. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I like that I don't like this idea, because that means I'd never try it. I want Dimitri to flex his creative muscles. You know what I did fucking two years ago? Flex. I made a Halloween short film, and it was fucking corny and stupid. I thought we were done with this. Bennett was there. Yeah, it, was. <laughs> it was fucking stupid. Woo! Like, why not? I feel like we like. There's really because nothing to lose. Because we got a lot. Because we got a lot of things to do. 2021 is gonna be fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. We have to be very, very careful with how we spend our time and where we're dumping our hours. Because right now, look at how many hours this is taking from the media team. I'm involved. Matt's involved. Fabrice is involved. You're involved. And we're pulling away Bennett from from Laserland, which is fucking insane right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I like, get it. You know, going out on a limb and trying something new, it does have a cost. So that's why we have to be very careful what opportunities we want to try and which ones we want to leave on the cutting room floor because there's a bigger something in the works. Okay. Don't fuck it up. Speaking, I mean, <laughs> in the cost benefit analysis, like I'm thinking it's probably going to take three, four hours. Well, no, 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 no. Three, four hours from me, from Matt, from Fabrice, from you, from Bennett. Yeah. So like all that, that's actually like 16 hours yes. or okay, 24 so hours. 16. I'm just thinking how many times can we do the same thing before it gets old and then where do we go from there? I'm with you. I want to change it. Every single product like product video that we have is JV fucking doing crazy shit and everything's just sitting on a table. And I like going this route of trying to change things. The way that I'm forced to think about it now is that we know we can make a really good Valentine's Day promo video with the dice vaults looking really, really sexy. Sitting down on the table, it would take JV or Fabrice like no time at all to shoot that and edit it all by themselves. And it's like, yes, maybe we could do this. And let's say it'll take 30 hours to create this video. How much money does that cost Wormwood? And are we going to make at least that back? Like, is the promotion going to perform that much better 
because there were elves in the video? Because either way, the promotion's gonna be successful. People love the elvish dice vaults. Okay. And like that's that's where my that's where my brain's at. So we'll look at the numbers and compare it to last year. I wanna double what we did last year in Valentine's sure. Day. Sure. Double it. Let's just double it. I wanna double it. If we're gonna put a lot more marketing energy into it, and we're like three times bigger than we were last year, I think doubling it is a, like, I think we could do that. That's what I want, 300K. What are you gonna do for me if we get to 300K though? What am I, Ooh. Ooh. I'll take you out to dinner, Dimitri. If I, we hit, if we hit 300, if we You hit, take me to Fogo. I'll take Ooh. you, I'll take you to Boards and Barrels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. I see your Fogo and I rebuttal Fogo boards and barrels. Or no go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just for th just for that play on words, <laughs> I'll I'll bring you. That did it. I got, got you. you. I got you. I'll go. We'll go to. F I'll bring you to Fogo. All right. Done. Look how complicated and messy this is. This isn't even done. <laughs> it's terrible. Being a CEO sucks. I have now been working at Modular Game Table for three weeks. Uh, a month, I think. Yeah. It's been about a month. How's it been? <laughs> it's rough, isn't it? And uh, it's, isn't it complicated? Can Weird. I tell you the, the big issue? This is going to be the classic Jason versus Douglas. Oh, yeah. Good. Right, right here. Good, good. I can feel it coming. I, I have a sixth sense for this sort of thing. I've, I've been taking some covert action. Oh, jeez. <laughs> JV, let me tell you the problem. Can I tell you the problem? Tell me the problem. We gave people shipping cost estimates on Modular Game Table. It's hard, because there's so many different options, there's so many different things, it's hard to figure out what the shipping cost actually is. You yep. can come on in, Kelly. You can go, go stand next to me. Jason and Ed finally got all the final information to the fulfillment house. Yep. And the fulfillment house, which had given us initial estimates, their final prices are like double what our estimates were. Double. It's disgusting. I was like, this can't happen, it can't stand. Ed and Jason were like, Doug, stand down. This is out of yeah. our control. The shipping prices we just got are just the cost it is to ship them with this fulfillment center. What the fulfillment center is, is we literally take a tractor trailer truck full of a whole month worth of orders, send the tractor trailer truck to a warehouse where they sort it out, figure it out, pack it up, and then ship it to all the individual backers. Yeah. It's they, very complicated. It is very difficult. It's very complicated. You want to do all that because you're crazy. I wanna... <laughs> Double the price of the shipping. If, we, I, if, if I it goes, it. if it goes, listen. No, the, no, no. This, if, no, ah, this is, no, no. Listen, if we say instead of the shipping being say two hundred dollars, it's four hundred dollars. That's two hundred dollars of accessories that aren't getting purchased. Yeah. It's not just like a blank pass through that doesn't hurt anybody. Mm. It'll hurt the customer, and because that hurts the customer, they're gonna spend less money with us. So then it hurts us. You would rather like go down this complicated route and miss every single deadline. No. Because we will. No, we no, will. no. If we go your way, we're gonna miss every deadline. Because the thing is, if we go my way, whereas if we just build a table, ship a table, build a table, ship a table, build a table, ship a table, your way, if that truck is sitting there, sitting there and that's all the January orders, and we don't get that last thing, the whole truck doesn't leave. No, you're, you're thinking very small, Doug. You're thinking January. I'm thinking next June when there's 1,500 tables and there's three trucks leaving every single week. Backer kit is coming in. It is doubling the Kickstarter. So on average, in the Kickstarter campaign, it was $1,100 per backer. Right now, we're averaging $1,800 in backer kit per backer, which would bring us to from 8.8 .8 million to like $21 million. Yes! 
Yeah. Yes. I'm sure the amount of tables we have to build. Yes, the tables also went uh, up the by number of, 25%. The number of tables only went up 25%. The big boost is, is on the accessories. Uh. And when we increase those shipping prices, that's what's gonna get cut, is the accessories, which are the higher margin items that we really wanna sell. Right, so the accessories, you're right. You're right. <laughs> it is going to be. There's no, no, there's, there is no right. There is no right answer. Okay, no, right no, because what you're saying is, Doug, you're entering into a world of pain. That's what you're looking yeah, at me you're, dead yeah. in the eyes, and you're saying you're entering a world of pain. <laughs> JV, that is a okay. movie reference yeah. that is phenomenal. Okay. Yeah. Just Google Big Lebowski. You are entering a world of pain, sure. and then you just flip, <laughs> slip that right Will in. Do. You're entering a world of pain. Smoking, my friend. You're entering a world of pain. Walter, man. You mark that frame in eight, you're entering a world of pain. I'm not. A world of pain. Look, dude, I, this is your partner. Is the whole world gone crazy? Am I the only one around here who gives a shit about the rules? I don't want to disappoint all of our backers. Because if we try and do the logistics ourselves, I think that's what's going to happen. Here's mm. what I'm asking you permission for. Which I've already started doing. I already know. I already know. I've already Doug started. thinks I don't know what's going on. I already oh, know. What's he's going got on. he's got his little birds everywhere. Got UPS has a new program. But the yeah. idea is, if there's something that is a freight amount of weight, but it's broken up into a bunch of packages, they'll give you the freight rate on package delivery. Here's what I would like to do. Just yeah. Let me prove it in January and February. Let me do January, because January is free shipping. We can then say dummy in some other shipping rates for February. Doug, me and you had this art. This is what you do. Yeah. You love our customers more than any, more than your children, I think. <laughs> <laughs> when we yes. were pricing tables, it was like, we need to get these down. We literally lose money on our cheapest table. Yeah. Well, uh, we don't know that for sure. We don't know that. We we haven't built any. We don't have any. We don't have any yes, financial data. Exactly why I want to be conservative on shipping. Like you're just like, oh, we'll give free shipping to these people and blah blah and like all these things and like we can't. Every single step of the way, we can't just like sapuku ourselves and be like, we're not going to make money on the tables and we're not going to charge enough for shipping and we're going to take on more complexity okay, than no. we can actually handle. Okay. Every step of the way, we have like given up. Like, we, we gotta protect ourselves a little. Yeah. You're correct. The problem is, is backer kit. Yeah. That is the actual problem. Yep. The problem is backer kit. We cannot let that problem. Oh, it just feels so gross just giving everyone yes, massive it is, shipping it's costs. Very gross. Give me two weeks. If we delay two weeks, and then there's a chance to have real significant shipping savings for everybody, I feel like it's a win. I feel like we'd be fools not to do it. Do we even have preliminary shipping savings? Has anybody even done a little bit of footwork? Within two weeks, I'll have it. What you're telling me no, is that we have like, we're gonna delay for two weeks and you have no information. I, do, do we even know that it's cheaper? No. No. But I, I'll, wait. no, but. <sighs> I would rather slip on our delivery deadlines by two weeks if that gave me the chance to save piles of people, piles of shipping money, shipping, shipping charges. Just give me a chance. Okay, two weeks. Oh wow, Whoa. this is happening? Oh, yeah, two, no, two it's weeks. It's worth and the like, fucking risk, it's worth this the is, risk. Unless it's like a 30 to 40% reduction in price, we're not doing it. I agree. I, no, on that we're 100% aligned. Uh -huh. All right. How'd that go, JV? You got those sharp elbows, man. <laughs> You're sharpening them, <laughs> uh, No, this is just ugly. Everything's ugly. Yeah. It's ugly. Yeah.
a new kilt? No, actually, this is one of my older ones. It's just wool, unlike the cotton ones I wear to work. Because mm. I, I don't want to ruin the good one. This is your dress kilt. This is a good one. Oh, yes. oh look at that. No, Ted, yes. what the hell are you doing here? What the hell am I doing here? Well, Doug emailed me. And he was like, I think Wormwood would love to partner with you since you're kind of pursuing your own jewelry making venture and he'd love to see what I can make that kind of uh, fits Wormwood and would be some nice designer pieces. Do people even know that you're a professional blacksmith? Um, I don't think so. Go ahead. Talk your shit. <laughs> More of a silversmith than a blacksmith. Of course. Sorry. Silversmithing is tiny blacksmithing with expensive metals. So I make like all the jewelry I'm wearing. So I thought, let's make something amazing and kingly as fuck. Kingly, kingly. as fuck. Ooh. It makes you feel kingly. Okay, okay. Here you go. Holy. Take it out, put it on. Tell me you don't feel like a king. Oh, Lord, Ooh. that's great. Wait a second, how did you do it so perfectly? What? I learned to cast over the last two weeks. Damn. So I can do. That's fucking awesome. Oh, thank you. And I've been wearing it all week because it makes me feel like a king. <laughs> oh, man. Like that's and for those who want something a little bit simpler, very similar, but much more understated, just a beautiful pendant. Let's center that and do that again. Yeah, let's. Yes, <laughs> let's. Ooh.